So, now it all comes out. What? You know, this has really been quite enlightening. Well, I'm glad to have educated you. You finally revealed yourself, Madam Scorpio. What do you mean? All those words you uttered to me just recently about doing anything for me, following me anywhere. What a lot of rubbish. It's just like Naomi to Ruth. Ruth to Naomi. Whatever. I have just one thing to say to you. Well, actually, to ask you. Well, don't be shy. Are you envious of Sean? That's a stupid question. Don't evade it. It's the truth, isn't it? You absolutely, positively green with envy that Sean can do whatever he wants and go wherever he pleases whenever he wants to. That's your interpretation. But just because it's mine doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's without foundation. I know what I see. What's that? I see your big blue eyes just light up when you get into a huddle with Sean. And then the light goes out when he goes away on his merry way on his own without you. You're being super sensitive. But it's the truth, isn't it? Don't lie to me, Robert. Me? Yes, you. I don't lie. Now, you just don't answer the question. The answer, the answer happens to be self-evident. I mean, wouldn't anybody appreciate or like the sort of freedom that Sean has? So you do want to join the WSP again? That's ridiculous. I mean, I happen to be married. What are you doing? I'm going out. All right. Um, where are you going? Well? Don't think that I'm evading the question. Just answer it. And I don't want to lie. All right, then again, where are you going? Wherever I feel like. Holly. At least allow me some freedom, too. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Well, should we let this gorgeous thing in here? Oh, it's just something I threw on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Felicia back yet? No, no, not yet. Why don't you uh, stick around and wait? I hate when she does this to me. i got to spend some more time with my brother. Speaking of that, how is he? Well, last time I looked, he was about ready to burn dinner. Oh, oh every woman's dream. Mm -hmm. uh, can I have some coffee? Well, come and join sure, us. Sure, sweetheart. I'll go get you a cup. Oh, great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I... We're serious. She keeps me waiting, right? And I keep her waiting, but we know where each other stands. You know? Where's that? Oh, probably about that far away from getting married. Well, that's nice. It's great. Holly, you know that... What? That, yes. that feeling you get when you know you found the right person. Am I the expert? Oh, come on. I mean, you and Robert, I, I watched you guys in Mexico and even in Texas. You know, you, you did? Yeah, you guys are great together. Yeah, but that was a, that was a very exciting time. Oh, yeah. It was, it was dangerous, too. And, and you and Robert, I mean, you, you just... You just work off each other so well. Yeah, and Robert. It was Robert and I and Sean, though. And right, right. Luke. But the pressure, you see, that was the thing. And I don't know, you guys have been through a lot together. That was the high, but, you know, every married couple has to come down to earth sooner or later. True. And true. that's the real test. Yeah. Well, Felicia and I, if we get married, maybe I should say when we get married. If we have. One half of what you have, I'll be happy. But no marriage is perfect, you know. You mustn't have too many illusions about it. Okay. I'll just pick my favorite illusions. I will take the Scorpios and my brother and Tanya. The newlyweds. How yeah. are they doing? They're terrific. Terrific. They're probably still in that honeymoon phase, huh? No. No, they are one step past that. Did you know that they're going to have a baby? Darling. So am I. So am I. No more scenes like that, I promise. Yeah. On the other hand, it makes for a rather delicious homecoming. Now, where were you? I was learning a very good lesson. Me too. Like that you're pretty hard to track down. You didn't try Kelly's. Kelly's? I didn't think of it. I was talking to a young man who is very much in love. Oh, who's that? Frisco. Guess who his role models are for 
perfect marriage? Well, I can think of some, maybe one, two. <laughs> well, Tony and Tanya. They're newlyweds. They don't know any better. <laughs> and us. Imagine that. He was very impressed with our marriage. Me too. I hope you didn't try to discourage him. Well, I told him that every marriage has ups and downs. Mm -hmm. No reason to uh, remain a bachelor forever. Hmm? Do you mean that? If you'd seen how miserable I'd been here today, you wouldn't even have to ask. I'm so sorry for rushing out like that. <sighs> I'm glad you didn't get any further than Kelly's. We do have a marvelous marriage. And we don't need Frisco to tell us that, do we? No, 